This is not an easy letter for me to write. And I need you to know that I pray every night that you'll never have the chance to read it. But our current situation is quite grim, to say the least. And I don't want you to think that I've been a careless mother to you. Every risk I have taken until now has been with the knowledge and burden that there might come a day when I don't come home to you. Or worse, that I put your life in harm's way. It's important for you to know that our commitments and sacrifices are not mutually exclusive. We have all suffered, and we will surely suffer more. You and I are not safe from that possibility. Neither was your grandmother, or her mother, or hers. Sometimes I feel like you know all this already. You've always been incredibly perceptive, even as a young child. I forget sometimes that you're still a child. Maybe that isn't a good thing. But I made a promise to you, before you were born, that one morning when I felt you squirm inside me for the first time. I made it again, when you emerged from my body and wailed the cries of our ancestors onto my chest. I vowed to prepare you as best as I could for the world that we live in. You're smart, resourceful, curious, attuned. It's wild. I hear you whispering in our mother tongue at night while you dream next to me. Of course, when you wake up, you have no recollection. And yet, I can see in the way you walk through the world that the stories they're telling you while you sleep are becoming one with your spirit. I see you talking to plants, singing to the sky. And so I'm sure that I fulfilled the promise that I made you, although I wish I didn't have to in the first place. But this is the timeline we are on, and we have no choice in the matter. The ONE has nearly wiped out an entire generation of resistors, elders, keepers of ancestral knowledge. They took our grandmothers, our children, our faith in each other. They made us forget our shared histories and struggles, our songs, our ability to heal ourselves and one another. My only wish is that you do not forget. Meg Zahigov Karun Chikar. We have to undo the damage they've done, together. Don't let them break our life force, our connection to each other. Don't let them tear us apart. And above all, do not lose hope in our ability to survive and thrive like all those who came before us. I see their spirits in your eyes, defiant, strong. We must continue to resist, always together and on our own terms. If you only remember one thing that I've taught you, it should be just that, Hogis. Remember that, and the rest will fall into place. I love you forever, Badas Khan. Sos vor yerazer 